Hello and thank you for watching the Alchemy Kitchen. I'm going to be doing a quick review on this little device here I picked up today. It is an outdoor hand warmer. Uh, electronic rechargeable hand warmer that also works as a uh, charging device, like a battery pack. Uh, I was at Lidl. I just saw this as an impulse buy. I think it was about 15 euro. Um, I had a friend who had one, a co-worker, and he works a lot of times outside at the shotgun range at my work. In the winter times, your hands get cold, and he said these are pretty cool. So I figured, why not? I was out hunting last night, night hunting for wild boar. You're sitting in a stand. I was up there for like six, seven hours, up to like two in the morning. It's not terribly cold for November, but there was definitely a wind chill, and there is today, too. I mean, it feels a lot colder than it is. First thing I notice, my hand's getting cold. Um, all right, so out of the box comes with this. Here's the box. It's a brand called Rock Trail. That's a Lidl brand. They make kind of outdoors stuff. Uh, came with an instruction manual. A little USB Type C cable with, or yeah, with a USB 2.0 and this little adapter to a USB C, which is kind of cool. Um, though I wish they would make it so it was like I have some like multiple attached USB cables that they're attached. There's like a little plastic thing that holds it if i'm like have this in my bag and i'm outdoors that's something i don't want to have to dig around for if i need it and it does not stay on very well it comes off pretty easy and usually these usb cables self-destruct after a few months of use um but yeah i mean at least it came with the cable out of the box it's very lightly charged so you have to charge it i think the charging time says is about three and a half hours um, you hold the button long and the three LEDs light up and it's on. Uh, there's three settings. So one light is the lowest, two lights is medium, three is the highest. And I've just tried this out for a little while today. Uh, to be honest, I am not very impressed with it. Uh, it's kind of big and bulky and I mean, okay, if you're holding it in your hand, you do feel some warmth. It's not that warm. Um, when it's really cold, this thing probably won't do a damn thing to be honest. And it's just, you're going to warm up the inside of your hand, or you got to sit there like this, um, or buy two of them. But it is a little bit on the bulky side. It's not the lightest thing, and it's, it's I mean, you could, it'll fit in your pocket easily, but it's not, not the most convenient size. I mean, if you put it in a pocket that's close to your body, you'll feel a little bit of the warmth of that. Um, honestly, though, the heat it throws off is not that much, so I'm pretty unimpressed with this so far to uh be fair i'm gonna i've got to cut up some firewood uh, just chop up some pieces smaller with the chainsaw nothing i'm gonna be doing a lot of exercise with so i'll be in my barn and it's pretty damn cold in there so i'm gonna keep this in my pocket on and see how it works once my hands get cold um i'm not that impressed so far i mean at the point it is right now i might have it in my bag when i'm hunting but I don't find it to be very useful. Maybe the battery bank could be good. But honestly, I tried to plug it into my phone. The connections on the USB cable seem really loose on my phone. And it didn't charge. And that's the second thing I bought from this company. I also got a um, USB rechargeable flashlight. And it had a charging port to work as like a power bank. And that didn't do anything either. So that is kind of lame doesn't work i'm gonna try it again maybe a different cable see if the cable's just crappy and i'll give this a little bit more of a trial come back and finish this video at the moment though i'd give it maybe like a three out of ten to be honest um really just it does not get that warm if you have it in your pocket and your hands are there in your pocket okay if i have a you know a hoodie with a double pocket it goes through like this all right i guess something can be used of it but um I mean, seems like they could have done, I don't know, this just, it just, I'm not sold on it so far. Let me get a further trial and come back to you. All right, so I gave this a trial for as long as I could. I uh, tried out the lowest setting. That is worthless. I mean, I think my phone gets hotter just 
charging than this on the lowest setting. Middle setting, still nothing. Highest setting is still very low. It, it says on the box. Uh, maximum of 47 degrees Celsius. And that's really, if your hands are cold, that's not going to do much. So I left it on the highest setting. I was working outside. I had it in my pocket. Tried a few things. After about three hours, it died. And that was full charged. It will not charge my phone. I'll plug my phone charger into it to charge it. It won't work. I'll plug the cable that came with it into my phone. It will not work. This cable to plug it into a wall charger, it will charge this. My phone charger to charge this does not work, so it's it's useless. I mean, the best thing really this could be would be a power bank. It's useless for a hand charger or a hand warmer. And it doesn't work as a power bank. It's bulky. It, I mean, it's very gimmicky. It's really, what are you going to do? Just hold it in your hand and get the inside of your hand? It's not going to do anything. And... There's a strong wind chill, but it's not that cold. But it did nothing to warm my hands. This thing sucks. Um, I wanted it to work. Would have been nice, but no. So I saved the packaging. Right back in that packaging it goes. And it's getting returned. Because this is like ridiculously crap for 15 euro. If you go on a site like Tamo, they have these for 10 euro with the LCD screen that tells you this won't even tell you when it's going to die there's no battery indicator there is when you're charging it but that's it so I mean technology has come a long way but this is I, I'm surprised it has a USB-C connector not a micro USB it takes longer to charge than it does to use at the full setting. All right, maybe you can get squeeze close to eight hours if you put it at the lowest setting, which really, it does nothing. Uh, I even tried, like, I have a buff face mask. I tried to wrap that around it and keep it in my pocket to just heat that up because sometimes these get, you know, from the condensation from your mouth, they get a bit damp. Or when they're nice and warm, you put them on, that's great. It did... It did nothing, nothing in your pocket. Really worthless. Uh, so save yourself some headache. I mean, for me, it's 15 euro. It's more of a headache to just go and bother with returning it than it is. But it's, I guess it's the principle. And I, I bought this intentionally because I was planning to go hunt this evening. And it's going to be cold. It got canceled, but... Uh, really a cheap pair of gloves is going to be lighter and do more than this. Gloves aren't going to charge your phone, but neither will this. So, yeah. Uh, if I remember right, there's Rock Trail and there's Crivet. Those are two brands that Lidl make for outdoor stuff. And every time I'm thinking about it, the Rock Trail stuff pretty much sucked. It's, it's you know licensed there's an address for germany i did not look closely i'm sure it's got a germany address there it does not say made in germany but I'm, i can guarantee you this was made in china uh i mean for a big bulky thing like this the battery life is it's a 5200 milliamp battery yeah even says on the box. It takes about three and a half hours to charge it. it. Takes about three hours to wear it out. So really, really useless. Uh, save yourself some let down and avoid this crap. Back to the store it goes. They're probably just gonna resell it with a thirty percent discount because it's a. Uh, open box and I imagine I'm gonna see a bunch of these in the store in that discounted return section in the near future maybe I got a defect but I actually looked up some other videos on it and they were all like yeah nothing good to say about them hunk of junk thanks for watching till next time